Hello everyone, this is Al Ahmad Gaid Biasad from Allstar. And this time, we are going to learn Assignment in R. Now objects obtain values in R by assignment. That is, for example, if you have a variable x, x gets a value, this is achieved by the gets arrow, and that is written by, written as this one. Okay, that is the gets arrow. Now to create a scalar constant x with a value 10, we type, that's how we type it, press enter, there you go, print x, as you can see, we have x equals 10. So this one is read as x gets a value 10, that's why you have 10 here. However, spacing sometimes matter on how r read your input. For example, you place space after x and after the symbol less than. I would read this as a question. This is, is x less than negative 10? That's how R read it. Okay? Now, the answer for this, or the output you would have, is actually true or false. Okay? There are two traces for the output of this. And so, if you look at this, x is less than negative 10, this is actually false. Because we have a value here already, x is equal to 10. So if you enter that, you would get a false answer. Okay? Now, how about you assign expression to object? For example, we have variable 1. And assign an object to it. I, I mean an expression to it. Like for example, 1 plus 2. Okay, so just type in var 1 and then assign an expression 1 plus 3. Press enter. Print the var 1. I mean var, so, oh, so I'm sorry. It's var 1. Okay, we do 4. Now a single command may be spread over multiple lines if either a command is not complete by the end of a line. For example, write bar 2 and assign to it like that. But we press enter. And so that is an incomplete assignment. Now, in the next line, you get this a plus sign. This means that you need to add an expression or any value for your object bar 2. So let's add some value 5 times. Seven. And so, this one is actually a complete assignment. And if you write in bar 2, you would have 35. Now, you can also do some arithmetic with your variables or objects. Okay? So, let's try bar 2 minus 7 divided by 9. Okay? So, you have that one. Okay? Or you can generate another variable or object. Variable object. Say out. Essentially, gets a value from bar bar divided by bar two. Press enter. Print the value out, and there you go. Now, objects can be joined together to create objects with multiple entries. This is by using the function c and a parenthesis okay which is actually named as concatenate concatenation function yes that's it now for example say join three four and nine how is that well using the function c or concatenation function type in 3, 4, and 9. I'm sorry guys. This is the wrong spell. Okay. I hope you don't mind. Okay. Now you can also join the objects you have. Say bar and out. And so, as you can see, 
var has an output of 4 and out has an output of, I mean has a value of 0.142857. Now this time, I'm going to teach you how to list a variable or objects. To list an object, we use the function ls with a parenthesis also. Now, there is no need to enter any argument inside this parenthesis. Okay? And so, if we enter that, you would get a list of your objects in your workspace. As you can see, we have the objects out, var, var2, and x. Now, if you want to remove one of, uh, I mean, if you want to remove that object, you can use the function rm to print the list. Okay? And so, for example, I want to remove the object out, you start with out. Press enter, and if you type in out, there is no object in green. As you can see, error, objects out is not home, object out is not home. Yes. Now, thanks for watching, guys. And after this video, there is something for you to work on. Thank you.